Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the process of linking charts on the MotiveWave platform. So if you aren't familiar with chart linking, chart linking is a powerful feature that enables you to apply an action to a set of charts instead of every single individual chart at one time. So whatever we do on one chart, it'll pretty much send a mass command to every other chart that's associated with it, aka linked, and it'll apply those same changes. So whatever you do on one chart will extend to the other. Now by default, your charts won't be linked and everything won't be associated with a group, but it's really easy to apply. And there's a couple ways to do so. First and foremost, probably the easiest way of doing so is through the chart linking icon. This is a little shortcut. It's right next to your time frame. You can see I just clicked that and dropped that down. It looks like a little link, but right now it is broken because it's not associated with any group. If we click this drop down, you'll see there's the no group, the link all, and then there's a bunch of different colors. So you can theoretically min and max as many different charts as you want with all the different following combinations of chart linking. So you can get wild and go ahead and link every single chart to a different color and you can have those all associated with one another. So the link all feature will essentially, as it sounds, link everything associated on this page right now, which could be great for some people, but you may want to get a bit organized and pick something specific and we'll do so in this video. We're just going to stick with the red link. So you'll notice we can go ahead and click that and it'll turn or it'll give our platform a little red outline, just representing that we're using the red link right now. And we have two charts open on our main page. If we click off of this other chart, you'll notice this one still remains unlinked. Instead of going through that little shortcut icon, I'm going to show you how you can do so by just simply right clicking on your chart, heading down to link and choosing your color from here. Right now it is not associated with a group. So if we go ahead and click that red link, now that will become active. Now you can go even further with this. It's not only limited to charts, but you can also do so with a time and sales window or a dome window as well. So right now we do have a dome panel on our side. This is of course going to be associated with every chart you have open. But for those of you that do open it up in your new window doing this process here, you'll see it's just its own entity and is not associated with it, with anything. So another way of linking is through the bottom of your platform here. Each window has its own separate linking buttons. You can just click on the red icon, which you'll see I'm hovering over right now. The outside border will turn red and it's now associated with everything linked in red. Let's throw this onto another window real quick and head over back to the file menu. And like I said, you can do so with time and sales as well. So we can go ahead click on time and sales window. Of course, it opens up with the default contract, but it is not linked. Once again, you head down to the bottom left here find the color you'd like to link and associate this window with the rest of the charts and other windows you have associated with red link, click on it, the border will turn red. So now whenever we go ahead and change this or change anything on a chart, everything else will follow. And let's do that now. So as you can see, we're currently working with the crude oil contract. Let's go ahead and try and type in the ESU nine. If I press enter and keep an eye on our chart up here in the top left, and we also have this dome. You'll notice I just actually pressed enter and everything just switched over. It happens really quick. So if you weren't paying attention, you probably wouldn't have noticed. But with one single click on my keyboard, I just applied one change to four different separate windows. I'm going to move these over for now and I want to show you what else you can do with this. So if you are working with multiple charts, whether they're the same contract or not, and they're linked, you can actually go ahead and place a study that'll place it off across every chart. So let's add Bollinger Bands. We'll just left click. We can go through our options if we want to. Right now, we're going to stick with the default. If you click create, as you can see, it adds our study. Our other chart, we did absolutely nothing to. And as you can see, it added it there as well. And let's see what happens when we delete the study. So you can just click on the top left here, click our BB study. We can click delete. And as you see, it is gone. Let's go to our other chart. It's wiped away as well. We can click on volume study, do the same thing, click delete, head over to our other chart and it's gone. So as you can see, 
the charts pretty much become identical and they replicate themselves. So whatever you do on one chart, the other will follow. So not only is your chart limited to the instrument, but there's a few other settings you can choose for chart linking. So if we head up to configure, go to preferences, stick within the general tab, but come over here to linking. You'll notice you can actually associate the different colors with different instruments. The default link type is the instrument, but you can also do so for bar size if you like, or you can do so for like none, or if you want to replay the chart and back test, you can do that as well. So as you see, you're not only limited to instrument. If you want to keep different instruments, but have them linked so you use the same indicators across all them or the same bar sizes across every single chart you work with, this is an option for you. As you can see, if you deactivate the default here, like I mentioned, you can come in here and actually associate each color with a different type of linking instrument. So if you want to make all your green charts just associated with bar size, if you use a particular tick size or a different chart style, whatever the case may be, you can do so for that. If you want to link all your charts to replay and backtest, you can do that with a blue. And then if you want to do everything associated with an instrument, you can do that as well. Really easy, guys. And once you have your settings applied, you just click apply. OK, and it'll extend those changes. So now if we went ahead and chose a blue or a green, we can represent those with different bar sizes or different replays. One more time just to show you, and I'm going to do this real quick. We have a dome right now with the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2019. We have two charts with the same contract. I'm just going to delete this, type in a new contract here. So let's try the Dow, press enter, and my dome right here changed, my two charts changed, and my dome panel changed as well. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, very intuitive, and very easy to use. It makes the platform extremely convenient and adds a layer of convenience to that. You probably won't find if you don't use chart linking. If you do have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below or head over to our community forum. It's linked in the description so you can take the link and easily sign up for an account to ask any motive wave questions or futures trading advice questions. Anything on your mind, ask it on our forum. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more motive wave content, trading psychology content, other futures trading platforms, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.